What are we doing, Christopher? Oh, we're just just checking to see if I went crazy and make sure it's still knocking. Just for the future good. I'd like it to still be knocking. How majestic. <laughs> oh my god. Perfect. <laughs> started peeing as soon as we Oh, stand in it. Good Ow. work. Kick it around. Yeah. Good so, boy. Whoa. Did you hear that? Yeah. Huh. Play the replay. Yeah, it sounded a little bit. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, the plan is I'm going to take the door card off on the R31, try and figure out why when I turn the key to lock it and unlock it, the barrel just spins. And uh, hopefully I'll get to replacing that missing wheel stud on that front left hub today. That's the plan. We'll see what happens. If you guys enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, tell some friends about the channel. And like always, if you're new here and subscribe, your name goes to the end of next video. Cheers. Stop it. Stop it, man. You're naughty. So today, we woke up to vomit over there on the carpet, vomit over there on the carpet, a big pile of piss, and shit on the other side of the lounge. There's vomit there, this was all piss, and then there was shit. Boom, 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 boom. That dog, man. Look at the size of him. He does big fucking human shit. So yeah, first priority, my something. Something snapped off in there because it just does donuts, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. So the plan is pull the door card off and uh, see what's going on. That Jesus clip is going to be a mega pain in the ass. <laughs> Okie dokie, so I figured out why it's not working, and that is because, ah, it's broken. Ha, ah, imagine. Anyway, I'll show you why it's broken. <laughs> Hopefully I can with the limited amount of hands that I have though. In here, if I turn this key. Far out, I don't know if you can actually see that, but pretty much there's this part here which is just not even connected. So pretty much what's happened is this part of the lock here this little hinge part is disconnected from the barrel so it's snapped off right there and then so this goes down to the linkage and then this is just hanging off so pretty much i'm gonna have to buy a new set of locks which are on ebay for 70 bucks which isn't actually that bad it's definitely a little bit of a pain in the ass because i don't have a job at the moment thanks to coronavirus and i uh because i'm a kiwi living in australia i can't get any sort of government handout so yeah <laughs> but uh yeah i guess i'm gonna put this back together and try and do that stub <laughs> i'm meant to put that on the outside aren't i So as you can see, we're missing a little study stud. So I'm gonna take the caliper off, take the rotor off, and then smack one in. Oh, why do I do this? Could have just taken the whole fucking caliper off, but no, I'm gonna take it off anyway. Put the wheel back on and find the wheel nut. Okie dokie, so pretty much where we are now is where we were before. So what's happened is there's a little thread, it's not really a thread, it's just this little splined edge which stops this bolt from rotating when it's in the hub, because the hub is meant to have matching splines, 
but the splines in here have all grounded out so when that's flush it spins so I either need a new hub or if I can just weld this bolt just to the edge of that uh, hub part there just to stop it from spinning would be great but I don't know how to weld we do have an arc welder just there but none of us have ever used it what'd you do oh you broke it think of the weight reduction man Trying to permanently take it out. I'm thinking how it's in the way. Aha. Uh -huh. So, the plan is I'm gonna try and use the arc welder onto the car and make that liquid glue thing. We got the we got the welding thing. Brad's making turbo noises. My God. Lord. So yeah, I've never done any sort of welding before. So what a good time to to try. I'm gonna get an extension cord, plug it in. Chris was saying I should practice, but we're, we're gonna ignore his wise opinion and uh, just go on the weld to the car. <laughs> Do we have any sort of rubber gloves or not rubber gloves, but I'm like- welding gloves on top of my cabinet thing, my tools. Oh, hell yeah. Oh hell yeah, we're gonna be golden. So I watched about 20 seconds of a 40 minute video, so I think I'm qualified now. I agree. <laughs> I don't know what the settings to put it on, but does this thing have to heat up or something? Uh, some welders have to prime for a little while. I'm, uh, not, I'm not sure about that one. I don't know if it's actually on at the wall. One second. Ah! Oh, oh my god, it's making noises! What temperature do I put it on? If I just tap it on, is it just gonna go sparks? Remember that 40 minute video you watched 40 seconds of? Yeah. So you hear like a sizzling noise. Alright. Like well, but not like... It'll make it too insanely hot. Alright. It needs to be warm. Well, all it's gotta do is stop it from spinning, so... Yeah, but you wanna weld with the back, right? Yeah, I'm gonna get in there. Okay, just be careful of your body. Thank you. Maybe wear something. You get little, um... Oh yeah, smart. We are prepared now. I don't know how this is going to help me because it's plastic, but we'll see. I should probably sand both the things, eh? Sand it so there's some contact, probably. Yeah, know. you should. Uh... Just putting this to helmet on. I can't actually see anything. I can't see anything. What one am I doing? That one. Alright, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna do the eyes closed touch. Okay. Alright, it doesn't doesn't do it doesn't do the sparks. Are you holding a trigger? No. Is there a trigger I meant to hold? Probably. Yeah, I think so. Well, be right back. Good work. What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's okay, I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna get a flat head in there and then try and hold that on there and then ugga dugger it. Successfully failed during the weldering. I'm done. It's got a stud just sitting in there. Sure do. For the final touch, I just put a zip tie on there because you know that's safe. Ah. So yeah, I attempted two tasks today and I successfully failed both of them. I hope you guys enjoyed. Actually, no, three tasks. I tried to weld as well. Oh my god. Anyway, come to the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy, give it a thumbs up. Tell some friends about the channel. And like always, if you subscribe, your name goes at the end of the next video. Cheers.